I'm going to show you how to legit check your shoes. And in this video, we're going to be using a black light to do it. You guys can cop a black light, also known as a UV light. I'll put a link down below in the description. If you guys do cop, that will help out the channel. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to put a link down below for Amazon. So you'll get it straight from Amazon. It is a perfectly amazing black light, pretty cheap, and it is definitely worth it. And I'm telling you right now, it will help you. Make sure you guys watch this entire video. You guys will learn exactly what to look out for when looking for fakes, how to legit check fakes, how to spot fakes, what's real, what's not using this black light or a uv light it's the same thing black light uv light i'll probably just call it a black light in this video but same exact thing once again make sure you guys check that link down below in the description if you guys enjoy this video and you learn anything make sure you guys hit that subscribe button also make sure you guys hit that thumbs up hitting that thumbs up does help out the channel and it pushes out this video to more people so more people can learn about how to legit check their shoes with that being said let's jump straight into this i'm going to show you guys right now how to legit check any shoe this will work for yeezys jordans sbs anything at all it does not matter it will help you it will spot out the fakes for you and it will save you a lot of money from buying fakes or getting scammed it absolutely sucks getting scammed so make sure you guys cop a black light Let's get into this. Before we jump into the black light, make sure you guys head over on Instagram. Give me a follow. I'll put the link down below in the description. I'm giving away this pair of Yeezy 350v2 Zions. To enter this giveaway, all you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Interact with this video. Anything at all you want to say, drop it down below. And at the end of your comment, leave a way for me to get in contact with you. That could be your Instagram, your Twitter, your email. It does not matter. Just leave a comment and a way for me to get in contact with you. And then go on Instagram. Make sure you give me a follow, Danny Moore 2369 Check out the post of me holding the Zions. And then like that post, tag two friends, and you are entered. Good luck. So this is a black light, also known as a UV light. It will help you do legit checks. So let's get straight into this. I have two pairs of fake sneakers in front of me. One of them you guys saw recently. I actually got scammed on a pair of Nike SBs. And these are the Grateful Dead SBs, the yellow pair. So I got scammed on these. These are fake. How I was able to determine that this is a fake pair, I'm going to show you guys right now. So I had to change the lighting so you guys can see the light a little bit better. You're not going to be able to see me that well, but you will get the point here. So what I'm going to do is take this UV light. We're going to do it on this pair of Dunks, and then I do have a pair of Yeezys to show you guys as well. So right here we do have the Grateful Dead Dunks, and these are 100% fake. I did get scammed on this pair. So we're going to take this light right turn it on and you're gonna look throughout the entire sneaker go throughout the midsole usually the midsole go along the upper and what you're really looking for is a bunch of markings and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about so when you go across across this pair of fakes it's not a bad fake when it comes to the markings however right there you see what's right there look at that midsole a lot of sloppiness in the midsole. Nike does not really let that go through. Jordan Brand does not let that go through most of the time. Sometimes it, you'll see that. Not a clear giveaway for a fake, but not on this sneaker like that. You know, guys, this is a very expensive shoe. If it was real, you could see that right there. Now, what I'm really looking for is a marking. This is a fake pair. I know where it is already. I checked it from the video. But as you can see right there, there it is on this shoe. You, you see that stamp right there? That should not be there. Not at all. Nike, Adidas, none of these companies put random markings like that on their shoes. And if you look, it does say, I believe, LG. What does that even stand for? <laughs> no one really knows. That is a clear giveaway that this is a fake shoe. So this is the right shoe. I'm going to pull out the left shoe and then i'm going to show you guys the box and i'm going to show you show you why i'm going to show you the box the box does matter so we'll take a look at the other shoe once again go throughout the midsole the upper it's just sloppy um on fakes on real pairs it will be you'll see some glue marks you know some markings but not as much as fakes usually tend to have and once again you're just looking for that stamp which i'm not sure where it is on this shoe oh there it is at the bottom see right there at the bottom if it has a stamp like that any type of weird marking like that it's a clear giveaway the shoe is fake clear giveaway just like that that is a fake shoe right there and i'm going to show you guys the box label right here we'll take a look at the box label 
it is also a legit check on this pair the box label looks good there's no markings nothing like that really on the box label when you open up the box look as well in the box take the black light and really inspect everything if you see random markings random things like that it's a clear giveaway you have a fake shoe so i'm just going to continue looking i don't see much inside this box however i'm going to show you guys the next pair of fakes which is a pair of yeezys i've had this yeezy for a while i did a real verse fake yeezy 500 blush video when the 500s first dropped like two years ago i guess now three years ago so it's been quite a while i've had this pair of shoes however i'm going to show you guys this box label right so we got a yeezy box right here take the black light and what do you guys notice boom what is that you should not have any markings like that on the label, on the box label. I'm going to show you guys some real Yeezys in just a second to compare it. So you guys will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. We'll look at the box, we'll look at the Yeezys themselves. So that is a clear giveaway that this is a fake shoe. We'll take a look at the shoe itself. So this is a pair of Yeezy 500s that are fake. This is the blush colorway, 100% fake. No question about it. But I'm going to show you guys, what do you notice with the black light going along the entire shoe? There's tons of glue, tons of markings that Adidas wouldn't really let slide at all, at all. This is a dead giveaway that you have a fake shoe. And you guys can do this with any shoe. Take a black light, a UV light, and you look for markings. It's a dead giveaway if it's a fake or not. Now, if you don't have any weird markings like that, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily 100% real. Still go through all the precautions of doing legit checks. But a black light will save you. It'll be a dead giveaway. Say if you're at a sneaker event or, you know, even a local meetup. Guys, this will save you a ton. A ton. It will definitely help you out of what's real and what's fake. So this is a pair of fake Yeezy 500 blushes that, like I said, I've had for quite a while. Um, to be honest, I think I'm just going to take these 500 blushes and drop them off at one of the donation bins that is by Chick-fil-A by me. They might be by Target by you. Um, you know, there's different locations like that. Where you could drop off clothes, like one of those bins. I'll probably just put these in there because I have no use for them. But, guys, look. See those markings like that? Yeah, it's not on real pairs. Now, I'm going to show you guys what real Yeezys look like. I don't have any real 500s. I'm not a fan of the 500s personally, but I'm going to show you guys some real 350 V2s. So I have some Yeezy boxes actually on the side of my collection right now. My shoe collection's over here, but I do have a bunch of Yeezy boxes right here. And you guys can see there's no markings on the box label at all on any of them. That was a 350 box. This is now a 380 box. See? Nothing. And I have a 700 box as well and this was purchased from goat nothing nothing at all so now we'll take a look at some yeezys let's start off with the zions this is a pair of zions i'm actually giving away that i did purchase directly from adidas i wound up winning on the adidas app as you can see no markings no random glue stains right it's nicely neat nicely made you see that Nothing, nothing wrong with them at all across the entire shoe. Take a look at the boost. The boost is usually a dead giveaway for fakes. This is real. On fakes, it's different. I don't have a pair of fake 350s to show you. I wish I did right now, I don't. But that's what real boost looks like. And if you see random markings or things that's not supposed to be there, it's a clear giveaway that it's a fake shoe. And as you can see, the Zion completely is good. Now, we'll take a look at a pair of zebras that I have. And this is a worn pair of zebras. I picked these up, I believe, on the second drop um, when they dropped. They released a handful of times. They The first time was extremely limited. Then they dropped more pairs the second time. That's what this pair is from. And then they re-released them, you know, a bunch of times over. But take a look. Look at the back. That's a real pair of zebras. You see certain parts do light up 3m over there you can see right there the stitching right in the middle that's how a real pair of yeezys looks like i think you guys understand my point i hope you do cop a black light once again i'm going to put that link down below in the description amazon link an affiliate link it will help me out help out the channel so i do appreciate it if you guys do use that link down below for showing you guys this look guys 
this is a very easy legit check for your sneakers. Cop a black light, have the shoe in hand, and you're pretty much good to go. Most of the time. There are other precautions. Now, what I'm going to do is show you a Jordan. Let's get into the Jordans. Right? People, Jordans are known for having, you know, quality issues. You know, we know that. Um, but, as you can see, there's no random markings on them. This is a dead stock pair of black cement threes that I copped on release day for myself. I believe I did a more vlog um, when they dropped. No random markings at all. See, very nicely made. No glue everywhere. You know, here and there, maybe a little bit, you know what I mean, here and there, but not across the entire shoe at all. You know, they're very careful on how they make their sneakers, quality control, could be better, always, but for the most part, it's pretty good when it comes to using a black light on real sneakers, just across the board, any company, any company at all. Now, if these were fake, they'd have markings everywhere, glue would be everywhere, you'd see it 100% with the black light. And this is how you legit check any shoe that you really have in hand with a black light, a UV light. Go around the entire shoe, go around the packaging, the box, everything. And if you see random markings, it's a dead giveaway. You have a fake shoe. So there you guys have it. Make sure you guys go copy yourself a black light, a UV light. Once again, I'm going to put that link down below in the description. Please make sure you guys check that out. It will help out the channel. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this video is useful. Go copy yourself a black light, a UV light, and get legit checking your entire sneaker collection. It's a great way to help you guys stay away from fakes to avoid getting scammed when you do have the sneaker in hand. If you don't have the sneaker in hand, here's a little tip. Ask the person, the seller, if they have a black light, a UV light, and if they do, you know, that would be awesome. Not everyone does, but if they do, ask them to send you a video going around the entire sneaker. Go around the entire sneaker, go around the packaging, the box, because if you see any weird markings like I showed you in this video, it's a clear giveaway that it's a fake shoe and you know to stay away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give me a follow on Instagram, Twitter, Danny Moore 2369 I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the Moore family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire straight. Fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.